All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing an update to the Dinosaur Dad profile that I posted a week ago, and we're just doing a quick update to the profile, what I changed, what I didn't change, and then we're going to do a quick combo update, too. All right, so let's get into it. First things first, we got our big dinos. We're going to play two ultimate conductors still, one pink and one litho. The reason we cut Overtex is because he bricked in practice a lot. Um, in theory, he's really good as another way to search pill and as a negate by himself. But in practice, you just end up breaking on him too much, and we're trying to make this deck as consistent as possible. So that's the reason we cut him. And then for good dinos, we play three Obi, three Miss, two Arcosaur. Arcosaur is the new like the new good dino in the deck. He brings it brings a lot of consistency to the deck. And Miss is just really the best card in your whole entire deck, honestly. And then for babies, we're playing uh, three baby, two petite, because those are the ones you want to blow up, and they kind of get all your play started. That's the whole reason the deck is kind of like blow up your babies as fast as you can. And then for bricks, we're playing one Rex, one Alo, one Barrier Statue. Um, Rex isn't really a brick as much anymore because if you draw him, you can still kind of go off and play around the beer in some instances. I'll show you later in this video. Alo is still here for the synchro plays. Alo is the only legitimate brick in the entire deck, but I still like him because Alo can give you a lot of value. He can make you go into VFD, whereas the pure variant of this deck doesn't go into VFD unless you do the whole noodle fiber combo, which is just too convoluted and makes the deck way more bricky than it needs to be. And barrier statue because they're still scummy. Then for hand traps, I changed the hand trap lineup a bit. Around three Ash, two Ogre, and two Valor. Um, the reason I did three Ash because Universal Valor because it's still um, I still think Valor is really good, but um, Ash just hits more things. Ogre because it's kind of niche and it hits a, a a lot. It hits a more variety of a thing of things than something like having an extra Gamma or having an extra Lancey or something like that. I think Ogre can come in a lot of uh, clutch situations. That's why I started playing it. I'm testing it. We'll see how it goes. I might do Skullmeister. I might do. Uh, Gamma, I'm still thinking about it. And then for spells, the spells didn't change. We're on three Lost Worlds still. One Diagram, one Terraforming. And then we're still on the best Dino spells, three Fossil Digs. As long as that three, we'll play it at three. And then two Pill. And then the last cards in the deck are just going to be the three Call by the Grave. That's it for the main. Let's get into the extra. So for the extra, the, the extra did not change at all. One Nat Beast, one Chambara, and one Crocosaur. Crocosaur is our rank nine target to go into VFD. Chambara for two card OTK. And Nat Beast, I'll show you the combo of Nat Beast today. Then for Xyz, hasn't changed. Be four best Xyz in the deck. Someone commented in my last video that I should start playing Tornado Dragon. The reason why I thought about it and I didn't end up playing it, well, I have the room, and if you want to, you can play Tornado Dragon to get yourself out of the, the barrier statue lock yourself, If you because sometimes you end up locking yourself into it if your opponent doesn't take out your barrier statue. But if they don't take out your barrier statue, you have OTK anyway. That's why I feel like it's not necessary to play. And if they take out your barrier statue, then you're not locked into it. So I don't think it's necessary, but if you want to, you can try it out. I might try it out, but for me, this is what I like to play with right now. Plus, a way to get out of it is if you have Alo in your hand, you can normal the Alo and then synchro the barrier statue in Alo into Chambar, and he's a wind, so it works out. Links stay the same, one rank, uh, one rank four, then Sigmorg and Unicorn for your rank, uh, ranks, for your link threes, and then for link twos is Phoenix, Masquerade, and Reproticus. Still, probably guess it's the best link of the deck because he gives you access to all your combos. And then Secure Gardener and Link Rebo for the rest too. And then for the side, I'll show you the side deck today. I'm still working on the side. So we're going to do the third Ogre, and then three Droll, and three Lancio. So those are the extra hand traps to play in the side. And then we're going to do um, three Dark Ruler no more because I think it's necessary right now. It's necessary in the format when people are making those unbreakable boards. Unless you get FTK, then you just kind of lose. That's what drolls. Drolls for the FTK. And then triple twin, one red reboot, and then one skill drain. I like the skill drain just because it's kind of a meme card, but it wins me so many battles because when you go caveman Yu-Gi-Oh with them, you can go ultimate conductor, just hard summon it, and when it's skill drain, they can't really do much about it. And you just kind of like keep poking them until they die. Great card. And then of course, our direct token to piss them off. All right, y'all, let's get into the combos. Y'all, so we're going to do a combo tutorial. This time, we're going to play around Nibiru. So it starts off the same like any other bread and butter dino combo. We have Miss and Baby. So I'm going to discard Miss for effect. Then we're going to use Miss effect to banish him. And we're going to special our Archosaur from our deck. Archosaur is going to activate, destroy the baby in our hand. To add the pill to our hand, baby will trigger in grave, special summoning our Overraptor. Now our Overraptor will trigger on summon to add us a baby to our hand. Then we're going to normal summon our baby. Then we'll use the Overactor to target the baby in our field, destroy it, and special the baby in our grave. And then the baby in grave will trigger, and we're going to get a giant Rex. 
So now, because we're protected by miss, if our opponent tries to Nibiru us here, they're not going to get anywhere. So, in order to avoid Nibiru for the rest of the combo, what we're going to do is actually, it's kind of a neg, but it still works out. We're going to overlay right here immediately into Dolka. So now, they're shut off from Nibiruing us, and we're kind of safe. Although we don't get the value of Vanishing Giant Rex, which kind of sucks. But otherwise, we can still go full combo from here. So now we'll turn the Archosaur into our Link Rebo, and we'll turn the Link Rebo and the Baby into Reproticus. And so then we'll activate our Pill, and we'll banish our Link Rebo and our Archosaur. And then we'll get our Pankratops. We'll summon him under Reproticus, and then we'll turn Reproticus target Pankratops, make him a Winged Beast. So now we can link these two off, and we can go into Sigmorg, and then we'll go end phase Sigmorg, and we'll get our Barrier Statue. And so that's the combo of avoiding Nibiru. Although you do get that neg from not being able to banish Giant Rex, you still are able to do it if you know your opponent has Nibiru. And that's it for that combo. Let's go to the next one. Alright everybody, welcome back to the second combo of today's video. Today we're going to do a three card combo. I know it's not that consistent, but it's like kind of what do you do if you have an extender? And this is, I'll show you the reason why I still play Diagram and I still play the one Litho. I think it's just too powerful and let me show you why. So the first thing we're going to do with our hand is we're going to discard our miss. Then we'll activate our Diagram. And then from there, we're going to go Diagram Effect. And we'll pop our baby to add a Litho to hand. And then baby will resolve, especially when us in Overraptor. Over after effect on summon, we'll add us a baby to hand. Then we're going to normal the baby, use the effect of our raptor to destroy the baby, and special summon the other baby from grave. Then the baby will resolve in grave, special summon the third baby. Then you're going to reveal litho, and you're going to pop both babies in hand. You're going to special litho. On litho summon, you're going to look at their extra deck, take out three of their combo pieces, and banish them. Which is, I think it's just too strong, it's too good not to play in dino. Even if you play pure dinos and you don't want to play the diagram, still play Litho because he adds that much value to you. And it's just another way to pop your babies. Anyway, so then we'll go Baby Chain Link 1, Baby Chain Link 2. Then we'll special out our Animadorn Archosaur, and we'll special out a Petite Tyranodon because we ran out of babies. Then we'll go Archosaur Effect to pop our Petite on Summon to add the pill to our hand. And then Petite will resolve in Grave, special swing us Giant Rex. Now from here, you want to make sure to leave this zone open because this is how we're going to make Nappies. So we're going to link Archosaur into Link Rebo. Then we're going to turn Litho and Link Rebo into Reproticus. And so now we're going to take that Mist that we banished originally. And we're going to special summon our Alo. Now we're going to do Reproticus, turn Alo into an Earth. And now we have two Earths, Synchro 5, Nat Beast. So now we're protected from a whole lot of infinite negates, which is pretty nice. Then we're going to go um, activate our Pill to banish our Giant Rex and our Link Rebo. And then we're going to special summon out our Ultimate Conductor, Rex will resolve. And we can special summon him out and we'll overlay him immediately into our Lagia. So now we're protected from Lightning Storm, we're protected from Evenly Match, we have a book on our field, and we contribute our product is for it. This is a really strong board and this is one way you can extend using Diagram and Litho in this deck. And this is the reason why and how I play Nappies. Alright y'all, thanks for watching the video. Peace.